Okay, <laughs> this thus concludes my massive Etsy houseplant haul. Last one to arrive, wishlist foliage. So let's bust this puppy open and then go pay my American Express bill with all of the plant charges that are on it. Yep. Okay. So this is another Merritt Island, Florida seller, which again makes me suspicious that it's either just all one big plant nursery with separate shops or they're all buying from the same place. I will tell you that this one has different handwriting than the Sunshine Farms or Green es the Green Escape. That was it. This one has different handwriting, so that's good. Um, no packing list, but that's okay. So first we have my Black Cardinal Philodendron, which for some reason has been really hard for me to get. Like I wanted to get it from Orange Lake Nursery, but they have been sold out for months or weeks at least. So let's take a look at this puppy. I appreciate everyone's well done wrapping abilities, but it's still like the whole thing. Okay, so let's show you. It's not quite black yet, but that's because it's a baby plant, so that's fine. And let's feel some pretty good moisture in there. So this has arrived safely. This is my first time buying from Wishless Foliage, so um, I have to inspect everything and make sure that it's up to my standards. My standard being, please be alive when you arrive here. This is a Royal Queen, I can tell by the RQ Philodendron, which is also black. I told you I was, in my last video, like I mentioned, I'm on a black goth kick. Oh, it is a wee little thing. And same thing, not black yet, pretty dark green, but to be expected. Okay, my four inch Stella White Fusion Calathea. As you know from my other White Fusion Calathea video, I have a standard. And I learned about the Stella while doing research on that. And a couple of you mentioned in the comments how much you liked your Stella. So I decided to go for it. Now, hmm. Now, it's definitely in good condition, but it looks a lot like my regular white fusion calathea, um, which makes me wonder which which is which, if I already have a Stella and I didn't know it, or if this is a standard, or if I'm having a fever dream. So let me go get my white fusion. So, as I said in my Is It Dead video, uh, this one is on the mend. Not the fullest, but let me see. So, I'm not sure. What do you think? I'll zoom in on that so you can see, like, here's my regular, which was supposed to be a standard, and here's the Stella. We need to investigate that. Next. Oh. Tricolor pictum. I'm not going to say it. Chinese evergreen. Agonal la 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 la. Lomina. I don't know. But I love this. I know it used to be much rarer and has kind of like faded from fashion, but I love it. I think it's such a cool like camouflage looking plant. Yes, that's definitely cool. And it has a new little, new little friend come into play. Excellent. 
Nebula. Ah, yes. So this is my Alocasia Nebula Imperialis, which is supposed to be like, from what the pictures I've seen, it looks like to be this just super cool, like Tim Burton kind of black and silver Alocasia. And they sent me two, which was super nice of them. I only ordered one, but I know that this place, according to the reviews, has been known to give bonus plants. So as you can see, it's got a little bit of like a faded look to it right now, but it will become a very cool, hopefully, black and silver. Like it reminds me of like old 1930s DC Batman comics or something. I don't like a sort of like noir looking plant. And I really hope that it works out the way that I think it's supposed to. Thank you for the extra one. All right, DVD. Um, DVD. So here is a white princess, a uh, philodendron white princess. Not a ton of variegation just yet, but it, well, it has to come in. And what's the difference between White Princess, White Knight, Wizard, all of those things? We'll talk about that in a future video. Stay tuned. I'll link it here. Whenever it's ready. BCP, um, Black Cherry Philodendron. Overall impressions of Wishless Foliage, pretty good. Um, like I said, they took the longest to ship. This is Monday. I ordered it two Wednesdays ago. So it arrived on Saturday. That was a whole way of me saying like it took about a week and a half to get here. Whereas the, all the other ones from Etsy took max a week, which it's not a huge difference, but the more you know. Okay, black cherry philodendron. Not a lot of black cherry yet. And ROF. ROF. Ring of Fire philodendron. This was part of a Mother's Day pack, the White Wizard, um, Black Cherry, and the Ring of Fire. So I got three and one listing, which is very exciting. Okay, now this one also does not have any sort of orange, or, but it does have some variegation so far. So yeah, let's get these into pots and quarantine and we'll do a touch base later on of all my starter plants and see how they're doing. All right, last but not least, the bonus plant. I don't know what this is. I was gonna say, I feel like Johnny Carson with the, like he used to do that skit with, he was a psychic or something. That was around my time. Like I was alive when Johnny Carson was on, but I don't actually remember watching him. So I'm both showing my age on how old and how out of touch I am with old things too. Uh, so this looks like it is a, I'm not sure what this is. I think this is a Dracania, Dracania. I will say the word that I'm trying to say right here. And I'm gonna look at their listings and see what this actually is. But thank you for the bonus plan nonetheless. Very much appreciate it. So there you go. That is Wishless Foliage, the last stop on the Etsy tour. So let me get these guys quarantined. And if you're curious how I do that, this video will go into all of the different acclimation methods you can use depending on if it's a cutting, starter plant, tissue culture, whatever. Let's jump over there. I'll see you in that video.